Hi, I'm here to talk to you about OpenBSD. Um, on May the 1st, OpenBSD 4.5 was released. I have installed it. It was um, took about 10 minutes to install. It's a very simple installer procedure. For me, I had no problem with it. Um, but I've been installing from the command line since the 1994 when Linux was just a command line prompt installation or text based installation. Um, now OpenBSD 4.5 hasn't got a lot in the sense of graphics or GUIs for in, in during the installation. You can in select the option to install X server, a very basic windowing system which is the underlying system of most GNOME and KDE systems is the X server um, if you know how to program for the X server which I do your code will last a very long time because X server is not going away but sadly X server is a security hole I would not recommend you installing OpenBSD or any variant of Linux with X server installed do not use a GUI if you're installing Linux you're there to learn the command line if you want to use compiz and games uh, don't use Linux just get a Windows box install it on there you know if you want to play games that's fine but just don't use Linux for that now I'm going to go through a quick list of what's new in 4.5. Um, you've got a new extended platforms, initial ports to the Xscale based Gumstick platform and the ARM based OpenMoco, OpenBSD Spark 64, new VDisk and VNet drivers, support for virtual interport output between large digital domains on Sun's cool thread servers including UltraSpark T2 machines, workstations and laptops with UltraSpark, Two E CPUs can now scale down to the CPU frequency to save power. Improved hardware support. Let me just scroll down. New tools: VD LDAP, a YP server using LDAP as a backend. X Comp Manager was added to Zeno Camera. New functionality: the Resolver, the Afros, the Orcat, the Orcat, the If Config. Assorted improvements in code cleanup. Malloc has now gained new. Attack migration measures, critical will bookkeep instructions are protected at runtime using mProtect and allocated at random addresses where possible. Well, that's pretty good, that is. Random address allocation. That's a good one. Right, improved option handling in DHCPD. Yeah. Um, install upgrade process changes. Open SSH 5.2. New features are in SSH to force login to syslog rather than standard error. So you look in syslog. Over 5,500 ports, minor robustness improvements in package tools. Many pre built packages for each architecture. The one I'm interested in is the i386, that is for the PC. As usual, steady improvements in manual pages and other documentation. The system includes the following major components from outside suppliers. GCC, OpenSSL, SendMail, Links, sudo, Encursors, Arla, Bin Utilities. Right, that's basically the new... And this is it. That's basically the new um, OpenBSD. And here is what you get presented with when you log in. Not as admin, because you don't log in as root or as an admin user. Because that's silly. You'll get hacked. Never log in as admin. Ha. Well, you can do sometimes, but as long as you're not connected to the internet, then you log in as admin. It's simple security procedures. And change your admin password, your root account password, weekly to stop you getting hacked. Look, who am I? Here's a command for you. That's my name. Let's check the date. That is the date. Nice. Now we can do the top command.
I've got HTTPD running the custom build and if you can see up there it's using just about 85k 8.5 megabytes of memory 42 megabytes are actually been reserved 423 megabytes is free I've only got 512 megabytes RAM and it's actually using 42 of them nice one let's clear that just a quick clear command now I can check my mail but that I've got in there no mail so um, let's send me some mail just to show you I can send mail I can send it like that there we go got some mail <coughs> let's read it yep there's my mail let's quit that well I didn't want it to save it let's see if I can delete it ah oh, I can't delete it forget it oh well well that's open BSD for you I've got it running HTTPD the custom build and that is basically a web server Apache and I've secured Apache but it's still got in the actual default install security holes there is still security holes in the default install even though they don't report them they just leave them in there and no one talks about them I've been hacked already so OpenBSD not secure you know but it was a Russian hacker a very proficient hacker hacked my windows box as well what can I say you know I don't know how to hack I'm not a hacker I wouldn't know where to begin with OpenBSD to how to hack it but it got hacked they filled the disk space up for our 20 gigabyte drive filled it to the brim and basically hacked it so I couldn't save any files couldn't install any files didn't know where the you know this space had gone to but it just basically got destroyed anyway that's my OpenBSD box there there it is can you see that? I bet you can't yeah it's down there it's a time machine that's it it's got a mouse but I don't use the mouse no mouse no X server, I haven't installed X because it's a security hole they'll hack you even quicker but you know OpenBSD excellent secure operating system you know 